Hey guys, Heidi Eastley here, and I'm going to, oh, I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties, and I'm gonna walk you through um, how you can do an easy porch sign. Now this is pretty big. It's actually taller than me, and I'm 5'7", so you can see how tall it is. Um, I'm going to be kind of dry brushing this. So as you get on, let me know where you're from. I'd love to know where you're from and what you are doing today. What are you up to today? So I'm gonna be doing the welcome, but I'm also going to be adding in some stenciling, okay? And if you wanna know more about um, what I'm using, I'm gonna be showing you what I've used as well. So first on this piece of wood, I put Van Dyke Brown, just a light coat, not a lot. And then I'm just gonna take and dry brush some white paint on here before I do the stenciling. So I'm gonna show y'all a couple of different tricks. And this is a fun thing to put outside. And um, it's really an easy, easy thing that you can do and put outside on your porch. And excuse the mess. Um, I had some paint party events <laughs> a few weeks ago, well last week, and then I have two more coming up this week. So it has been, um, I just haven't cleaned, I haven't cleaned it up. I'm like, I'll just repack, I'll just go to repack. So dry brush, I'm gonna dip into some white paint and then sometimes it's better if you dab it off and then go to it. So you're taking the white paint and then you're just basically taking it off of there and then brushing it on. So yeah, so y'all tell me where y'all are from, what y'all are up to today. Um, we have had so much fun this spring break. We've done, a, I feel like we've been on like five vacations when really we haven't done that much. It's just we've done a lot of little stuff that's around town. Um, and some stuff, we've done a few little road trips, you know, like two hours away, not a lot. But um, we went to Turner Falls a couple days ago and that was a blast. Oh my gosh, the, we have to go back in the summer and there's like this huge waterfall and you can swim under the waterfall and we hiked all the way up over it. It was, it was so cool. I actually rolled my ankle <laughs> coming down. I'm so clumsy. Is anybody else clumsy? I'm like the clumsiest person alive. I like just take, I mean, we're like all up and down all over the place and I seriously roll my ankle like stepping off of like a foot. <laughs> it was pathetic. It was really sad. So yeah, so tell me what you're up to. Also, those of you out there that are teaching paint parties, um, spring is here. Oh my gosh, well, not for everybody, but it's starting to feel a lot more like spring. And um, I wanted to know, and again, I'm dry brushing this for y'all. Hey guys, hey Clara, great to see you on Home Projects. Oh my gosh, I love this one. This one um, we did at a paint party not too long ago. And um, one of the ladies, I just adored how she did her stencil. So I'm actually going to do that today with this stencil. And we're gonna put the welcome letters on there. So those of you that are wanting to make something, this one is an easy one to do. And those of you that are teaching this at a paint party, I highly recommend that you have lots of room, okay? So if you teach paint parties, do a like or a comment, that would be awesome. Oh, and if you're thinking about teaching paint parties and you wanna teach this, you can get my ebook. I sell it on my website for 17. You can get it for free. The link is in the description. So feel free to grab that um, while I have it on there. And again, I'm just dry brushing this on, dipping some white, Deco art paint here, and then I'm about to add the stencil. So you can add as much as you want on here, but I was gonna say, those of you that are doing this as an event, you need a lot of room, a lot of room. So for example, two people take, um, take eight spots, one, two, well, six spots. Two people take six spots. So you have to have a lot of room when you do the wooden boards, because look at how tall they are. I mean, they're as tall as I am. So you're looking at, you know, I'm 5'7", and this, this sucker's a little bit taller than me. So you're looking at a six foot long board. And I got the boards at, um, oh, I got the book, it's good. Oh, thank you so much, Shyla. Hey, Doreen. 
Hey, Phyllis, first time here. Oh, welcome, Phyllis, glad to have you here. Um, okay, so I just got a, a, and thank you all, for those of y'all that share, I always like to give little gifts every once in a while for people who share. I like to send y'all a little happy mail at home um, to one lucky person, so thank y'all so much. So yeah, so I'm just kind of dry brushing this on, and the board, I spent about $10 it's just a pine board, six foot. Um, but those of you that are doing paint parties with this, I was going to say, you want to make sure it is a either a smaller party, number one. Um, you want to make sure it's a smaller party or, can y'all see me? Sorry. Oh, I'll go down this way. Um, you want to make sure it's a smaller party or you want to um, make sure you have plenty of room because I... You know, when you do paint parties, a lot of times you'll have last minute signups. Um, you know, I like to have everybody prepaid at least two days before just to get things ready. Um, but, you know, there always are those people, you know, that sign up like the day of. And if that happens, you have to be ready because the location where I teach every month, I have a restaurant that I go to consistently. And um, there's just, we have a big space and I fit 40 people in there. But whenever I did these, I had to, I mean, we, we just didn't have room. And um, thank goodness it was like a party of 20 or something. I think it was like 23 people because we were just on top of each other with these pieces of wood. Because again, one, two, three, four, we actually, it takes the spot of three on one side, but it actually took the spot of four people where I would normally sit four people. So if you're teaching this at a paint party, you have to make sure you're careful. And um, hey Maggie, she says, I want to do one for my barbecue truck. Oh, that'd be awesome. Um, I want to do one of these boards. Yeah, Nikki. Oh, thank you for sharing. Yeah, um, they're very easy. I'm going to show you my stenciling technique. So I like to put a little more white. You can, again, I did general finishes first, let it dry, and then I did white on top of that. So it's really an easy process. And it has a really good effect. So I have the welcome letters like this. But before I put my welcome letters, I'm going to do something really fun. And if y'all don't mind, I have a kind of a funny question to ask y'all, okay? So I always play a certain music while I'm painting. And sometimes I mix it up. And then other times I'll play different music while I'm teaching my paint parties. Put in the comments what your favorite music is to listen to while you are painting at home. Okay, I wanna know what you listen to because I listen to a lot of the same stuff and I feel like I need to spice up my, my music at home for my paint sessions. You know, we kinda of get stuck in our, our routines. <laughs> hey Doreen, thank you for sharing. And guys, if you're new to me, um, I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties. Um, I sell this for 17, but on my um, description, you can get it for free today. So check that out. Um, Shyla says, business podcasts and sermons. Oh, I do too. I love some podcasts and I love some Joyce Meyer. Man, if you're ever in a funk or a, a, an ad, like you, have, you need an attitude adjustment, that's what I like to say when I listen to her. Like if you need, um, just like, I don't know, sometimes we all have those times where we're kind of feeling sorry for ourselves, or we're kind of like, eh, you know, life sucks right now. Listen to Joyce Meyer's attitude. Her YouTube on attitude, man, it will put you back in your place right away. I'm always, if I'm ever in that kind of funk, I'm just like, okay, let me get some Joyce Meyer's. Just type in attitude. She has a bunch of series on that, and they are so good. They are really, really good. And they'll kind of help you, because we all kind of go through our slumps. I mean... We're only human, right? We all have our, our slumps and our times when we're just like, oh, why? I just want to lay in bed today. You know, we all have that, but we got to get out of it. Um, okay, let's see. Doreen Christian or 70s. Um, Renee listens to audiobooks more than music. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I need to figure out how to get audiobooks to work on my phone um, because... I read a lot, but, you know, sometimes it would be nice to have the books. Country music, country. Oh, I love me some country music. Um, usually country during parties and praise and worship music. Yeah, let me know what y'all are listening to. Have y'all heard that song? What are you listening to? Okay, here is the colors. 
Bluegrass Green Deco Art, and Sea Breeze. I love these two colors. Okay, so I'm gonna use both, and then here is a teal. And I'm using three different ones on purpose. Ugh, maybe, if I can open it. Ooh, got it. <laughs> I'm using three different ones because I want to um, have these variations on the stencil. Okay, so at first I was um, thinking when she was doing these, I was kind of like, oh, that's going to look cool. But I wasn't like in love with how she was doing it yet. And then once she put the welcome on top of it, it just looked awesome. And I cannot remember if she just did three. I'm just going to go for it. Okay, so... We're just gonna go for it. It might turn out not perfect, but I'm just gonna go for it. So big old stencil, you can tell this has been used a lot. And then I'm just gonna dab, I'm just gonna take a big brush, Lowe's, Dollar Store, and I'm gonna be dabbing in all three. See how it has all three? And then just up and down. And then you can go back to like one of the darker ones anywhere you want and just kind of put it on there. Where do you get your pine boards? Um, I get mine at Lowe's. You can get them at Home Depot, I'm sure. Um, I just grab mine at Lowe's. I, I don't know, I usually go to Lowe's more than I do Home Depot. I don't, I think both are pretty much equal. Um, some people just really love another one versus the other store, but I don't know. We just end up always at Lowe's. <laughs> And they're side by side, basically. I don't know why. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Okay, you can add in some of the lighter just to give it some variation. And I am actually I'm probably going to add in some gold because I'm a little obsessed with gold. Okay, so gold. Um, this is a 24 karat. Um, love your earrings. Oh, thank you very much. What do I have on? Oh, <laughs> I just got this necklace last week. Well, a couple weeks ago. When I was in Florida for a friend's wedding um, and I found it at what's that store Charming Charlie's I think it's called which is so funny because it's out of Austin which is closer to me than where I was but they had one in Tampa oh my gosh I'm trying to open this if you are wondering what's going on I was in trouble opening hold on I'm gonna bang this against the floor Okay, let's see if that helps. Um, yeah, so they have, have you ever been to Charmin Charlie's? I think that's what it's called. Um, my friend Lynette ugh, showed me about one. Years ago, she had taken me to one. It just, it kind of reminds me of like an upscale Claire's. Um, I love that place. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. But I love like any kind of fake gold jewelry. <laughs> any kind of costume jewelry. I don't think anything but my wedding ring is real. Oh my gosh, y'all. I, I wish y'all were here so you could open this for me. Do y'all have trouble with this? Or is it just me? How long is it going to take for me to open this? Ah! Y'all don't look at my... Can you open this? Pixie's here to save the day. We'll see if she can open it. Don't get it on your shirt. Oh, and while we're waiting for us to get this... Did you get it? No. <laughs> She tried to. Um, these stencils you can get anywhere. Michael's. I'll put a link. Um, oh, yay, I did it. I'll put a link to where I get mine. And then if you ever want to, um, if you're ever unsure of what I'm using, I always have um, on my website, Texas Art and Soul. And look at how pretty that is. I don't know if you can see it in this, the sun. Um, yeah, I hit the lid on the edge of the table. I know, Maggie. It's so, so frustrating. It won't open, but it finally did. I think Pixie loosened it. Um, if you're ever unsure of what I'm using, if you go to Texas Art and Soul um, Must Have Products, you can find some of the stuff that I use for my parties and for um, for just home. Okay, so I'm just gonna look straight up. Can y'all see that? We all just put it yes if you can see it. I'm just gonna do it down here. And then again, I'm using the same blues, three different, or turquoise, um, turquoise colors, and just kind of dabbing it on. 
and I put a few little highlights of gold in there. And then these signs work well to stay outside. And um, I am kind of obsessed with like Junk Gypsy and kind of the, you know, the where it's just not all perfect, where it has some wear and tear on it. So sometimes when we're making, you know, stuff that could be brand new, you can make it really crisp. Or you could, um, you know, like whenever I do my painted floors, like I'll paint concrete floors, basically murals on, on floors, which I am so excited about. I'm gonna be doing my big art garage room soon. And then I'm also, hopefully, this spring gonna be doing the outside porch and I'll make sure to let y'all see the process. But what I was saying, what I'm trying to say Oh, that is cool, Pixie. Pixie's doing a project on the other side. Do you want to come show him? Oh, man. Do you want me to show him? Okay, I'm going to show you what Pixie's been working on. Do y'all want to see? Do y'all want to see what she's been working on? Let me know in the comments, and then if y'all do, I'll grab it. Um, but anyway, so what I like to do is I like to have it to where it's not all perfect, and then um, even if it's outside and it gets kind of faded, it's still fine. You know, it still has that kind of rustic look. But you could spray a polyurethane, and a polyurethane would take it. Let me see if y'all can see this. Can y'all see that now? Um, a polyurethane would take it and just kind of help it a little bit more, stay a little bit better. But I honestly, I probably, I might hit this with a little bit of a polyurethane. Hey, Debbie. Hey, guys. Oh, they would love to see. Yes. Okay, let's let's show y'all pixies. Let me show you. It's wet. It's wet. Okay, so I'll be careful. And what are you doing this for? Pixie's making this for her bathroom. She used what did you use, Pixie? Uh, she used a pouring medium, and she did um, a bunch of different. Actually, she's using a lot of the same colors that I'm using. So Pixie was getting creative. She actually got some on my floor and it looks really pretty. So I think I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> yeah, they, they all wanted to see it. <laughs> there you go. Um, okay, so the stencils, oh, I moved this, hold on. Okay, there we go. So if your stencil moves, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> just find a place, just find it close and put it back on there. Um, but basically, you know, I don't really mind if it gets a little kind of, I guess, aged is what I'm trying to say. Um, so don't, don't stress about that. Same thing with my floor and my art office. I painted, you know, we had this ugly concrete and it was just driving us nuts and we weren't going to put flooring down. So I just painted it with a gray concrete and then I just um, did these big flowers and stencils on it. And then um, now I can just do, you know, it's okay. It's, I can just, I mean, I could have sealed it, but actually my chair is starting to um, kind of mess it up right there where I sit a lot, but it's all right. It's fine. Okay, so we have all of this. This is what's happened. So those of you that are joining us now, a couple of things. I used um, General Finishes Van Dyke Brown for the bottom layer. Then I used white to put on top, the on top just really dry brushed it. I took it and let's see if y'all can see it up close. Um, I just dry brushed it. So it literally is not really that, you know, I didn't brush, I wanted the, the wood to show under. So don't like brush it too much. You wanna just, as much as you feel like you want it on there, but still show the brown. Because if you didn't, if you didn't wanna show the brown, then you, you wouldn't have had to have done the brown. You could have just painted it solid white if you want and then after i painted the white i took the stencil any stencil you want and i just did it three times with three different turquoise okay three different turquoise i used a bluegrass green a sea breeze these are all deco arts and a peacock teal so you can use any color you want and now i'm about to take this stencil and do the welcome so you'll be able to see the kind of the finished sign here in just a few minutes um and those of you that are new to me um i just want to say welcome thank y'all i hope you like my page um basically what i do is i teach paint parties 
all over. And I also teach people how to make money teaching paint parties. So I'm gonna use a ruler and kind of get this on here. And 12 inches. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull it down just a tad. So if you are looking at this and thinking, oh my gosh, I wanna make that for spring, um, definitely make one of these, put it outside. I mean, they're very, very easy to make. And then if you're thinking, oh my gosh, I wanna teach that as a paint party, you know, to teach other people and maybe make some extra money for summer vacation, it is a great way to make some extra money for summer vacation. So I know we have a lot of people that teach paint parties and they, they put it aside as like a little creative fund. And it's so exciting because you can just put that money almost like, you know, go teach a party. And um, I teach, you know, how to make a profit every single party. So if you haven't read my ebook, I'm giving it to you for free today. Oh, that's awesome, Terry. She says, you're inspiring me. Terry, I want to see what yours looks like when you're done. And newbie from Arizona. Hey, Cammie. Okay, so all of y'all newbies, download this ebook. It's free for you today. I sell it for 17 on my website, but you can get it today in the comments. Not the comments, in the description. There is a link for y'all to get that for free. So I'm gonna add the black on here and show y'all what it looks like. So you can actually see a project from start to finish. And then also those of you that do you like to share, I love um, giving people happy mail. So I usually pick one person and send them a little um, happy mail present from me for sharing. So those of y'all that like to share, I just wanna say thank you in advance. And I'll be picking one of y'all here in the next couple weeks to send you a surprise package. So thank you for sharing. Um, and you can just put shared in the comments. All right, so this is just black deco art. And I'm just going to use a brush. I didn't even wash it. Sometimes we have to go a little bit like this. <laughs> because they're bigger letters. And um, I'll thank you for sharing. Because they're bigger letters, sometimes we have to kind of get... I might use my cleaner brush. Because I don't want to lift this and it be totally jacked up underneath. Because here's the thing with stencils. Sometimes they'll come up clean, but most of the time they won't. And especially when you are teaching this at a paint party, you have to remember that a lot of people that are learning from you are brand new. Um, so if they're brand new, they're probably not, they're probably not, you know, used to using stencils. They're probably not used to um, making it to where it doesn't go up under it. Because when you do stencils like this, you have to kind of go around. I don't know if y'all can, can y'all see that? Okay. Um, you have to just kind of be careful when you're on this spot. And I'll put a link after this Facebook Live. Um, after this video, I'll put a link where you can get the stencil. And I think I have a, um, I might have a coupon code for you. So I'll put a link on there. So check back um, after we're done with this, I'll go back in and put a link to where I get my stencils. But you can get these at Michael's. I mean, I even think Walmart has them now. Um, and you can get the paint at Walmart. You can get the paint at Michael's. Um, I've seen Target has acrylic paint, but I've never bought acrylic paint from Target. You just wanna make sure it's acrylic paint. And then whenever you do these as paint parties, sorry guys, I'm having, thank y'all for sharing. And um, whenever you're doing these as paint parties, again, like I said, you need to double, triple check that you have plenty of room to lay it flat like this. So like I said, if you're teaching it at a paint party, you, you probably want a smaller party, maybe four to six people. Um, and usually for these signs, I charge 45 because again, it's, it's, you know, you want a profit every single party. And besides the fact that it's really a fun night 
So, you know, people are paying for something, you know, socializing, having fun with their friends, but also, you know, they're going to have something really cool to take home. And then, um, and it's almost done. I'm about to show you what it looks like. Um, but also because you want to make sure that, you know, with these kind of parties, if you don't have the space, you're going to have to do smaller numbers. Terry says, I'm doing this Kim paint party at my house. Yes, oh my gosh, we call that a guinea pig paint party. A guinea pig paint party is when you have one at your house with some friends and family, and you kind of see if you like doing this, because it's not for everybody, but I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, teaching, I used to teach art for 10 years as a school teacher, and I love that too. I thought I would be a school teacher art teacher forever. I thought I was going to retire doing that job, but um, paint parties just kind of kept taking over my life, <laughs> and then it just kept getting bigger and bigger, and now um, I teach paint parties full-time, and then I also teach people online how to do what I do, teaching paint parties, so it's just, it's so much fun. I can be in the middle of a room with 50 people, and just so, I just love it. It's, I don't know, do y'all ever have that feeling, those of you that are out there teaching paint parties, like, I can be in the middle of a room and just feel so calm because it's just, I just feel like God has put me there to, to you know, show God's love through art and all kinds of stuff, you know, just, just loving it. So, it's, it's a fun time. All right, so this is all the way. I'm about to lift this up and show y'all. And for those of you that um, are here and you're new, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, those of you that have known me for a while, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love y'all so much for always, you know, coming on here and sharing and commenting. And I have something really cool coming out in the next week or so. So you're going to want to see it. It will be introduced through my email. You want to grab that side? I better, I better lift it first. Okay, let's see if this, if I did it right. Yeah. Did it work? Yeah. Don't, don't fall on it. Okay, I'm gonna fall on it. Okay, there it is. All right, what do y'all think? Yes, no? Can you see it? Can you only see the CO? <laughs> there you go. Okay, now we have a big old welcome sign. I'm gonna show you just a little bit up front so you can see how it has the stenciling behind it but not all of it. So you can see parts of it has the stencil and parts of it doesn't. So I hope that you'll make a spring sign this, um, this spring. You'll put one outside. I would love to see a picture of what you create. So, um, and for those of you that are new to me and you want to um, learn more about teaching paint parties, this is the best way. It's an instant download. It goes straight to your email box, but you have to check your spam because sometimes it goes there and that's not fun. So thank y'all so much for tuning in and I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys.